Happy New Year's. Can you believe it's already 2016? Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, I got through a lot of candles and melts this in December. And I'll start with my Advent calendar. I did do a video on this, but you just basically open up the day and pulled out a tea light. And I did manage to use all my tea lights because I did a lot of wax melt as well. But I'll start with my um, candles first. This is a 22-ounce Yankee Candle Oatmeal Cookie. Um, some sooting issues. But I did combine it with an ice uh, spice cake and um, it did smell like cookies in here. So that's the uh, uh, oatmeal cookie and then here's the ice spice cake. This is what this was in the soft wax, too wick. You still see some oils down in there. And I finished those up. I started them in late November and finished them up early December. So after that, basically it was a pine and peppermint kind of month. Um, wanted to get through a lot of my pine that I've had since last year. This mistletoe pine, um, I think I got it CVS after Christmas last year and um, got through that. Burned nice, but a very light throw. Soft wax, one wick. Would I get it again? Probably not unless, I, I don't even think I even probably paid a dollar for this. It, it was like on 90% clearance, so. And then I did a two wick in the Peppermint Bark by Yankee Candle, 20 ounce. This I've had for a very long time. Uh, I think it was born, uh, poured in 2012. That's how long I've had it. And I just, I know sometimes with peppermint, since after a while they, um, you know, start to take on almost like a butane or propane smell. So I wanted to get through that, but it burned very nice, and it did smell like peppermint bark. North Pole, one of my favorites. Uh, it's peppermint and like a hint of vanilla. But again, if you don't kind of burn them when you, like that first or second year, then, you know, they just go to pot. So this was a medium jar, 14.5 ounce. Um, you can see all the, uh, what, like this, the wick soot crumbles. Um, I didn't know there was that many in there because usually I trim my wicks and then throw that away. But uh, this was poured in 2014, but it did burn down to the end. I think I extinguished it because I didn't trust when I saw all that down there. Like, ah, you know, I didn't want to have a mess on my hands. Um, What else? Got through my Dollar Tree purchases of gingerbread, it says natural soy blend, and I burn these with like other companion candles so I would get a better throw. But I could actually smell it though when the heat came on and you know the blowers start and uh, I could smell it. And then I also got through a peppermint. So done with those. Um, if I see them, yeah, I'll probably get them again because, you know, it's your basic gingerbread, peppermint, no funky, other scents combined. This I got from Kmart. Um, I like it because it's silver and shiny and it has the hobnob look. It's a two wick and... It is, I don't know, it says twinkling light scented candle. I guess it had like some berry scent in it and trying to think what else, like maybe a little bit of pine. It wasn't that strong. I'm debating whether to go ahead and try to clean this out and keep it. Uh, I do have another one because it was like two for 12. And uh, I haven't burned the other one yet because it really doesn't really smell Christmassy. So I can think in like a, more of a winter scent. And this was like on the top. This was the lid. So, and the sticker was on the bottom, but I peeled it off because I was like, well, it's, I'm going to clean it out. I'm not sure yet. I got so many candle holders. Uh, one last candle. My Colonial Candle Bayberry. After I, it burned very nice. 
um, too wick, no problems. But when I was done with it, I'm like, oh, I don't think I will ever get that again. And I'm glad it's done, and I'm glad I did not get it in a larger size. I'm kind of finding out I don't like Bayberry that much. So, a lot of the uh, Daylights by Kringle Scents. Apple cider donut, and all these really burn down. I just put them in a candle holder. I have some wax there, but uh, put them in a candle holder, light them up, and I can usually get like two days out of it, but you have to blow it out. I can't like start it on a Saturday and leave it all running, you know, Saturday, and, and then like blow it out at say 8 o'clock at night or something and try light the next day because it, it there's just not enough wick to catch the wax. But overall, if you do like two days, you can get like 12 hours over the two days. So I burned apple cider donut and first snow. I got through a balsam fir and a blue spruce. Boy, you ties like into the, get through the peppermint. Or I'm sorry, get through the pine. Oh my gosh. Uh, Snow-capped Fraser, ginger snow angel. A lot of these I got last year after Christmas. And I wanted to get through them. Uh, holiday cookies. And right now I'm burning Christmas because I'm still working on a Magical Frosted Forest by Yankee Candle. This was actually a uh, wax melt. Oh, there's still a chunk in there. Very soft wax. I had to take the knife to it and cut it down the center because I I um, have tea light warmers. And um, it only holds, you know, so much. So... This was really strong on the peppermint cocoa. And I did burn this with like peppermint bark. Oh, I forgot a candle. I had this in my bathroom on uh, Christmas or Christmas Eve. This is the uh, Bath and Body Works mini peppermint marshmallow. It left a lot of wax in there. And I actually had to uh, kind of pour some out midway because it was the wick was drowning. And um, <clears throat> when I... It self-extinguished, and it's actually metal down there, so you can see how much wax was left. So I got these, what, $4 a piece uh, for 4 bucks. Mm, was it worth it? But they're so darn cute, and they work great in the bathroom. So I still have a couple of those to go through. And the rest, I believe, yeah, wax melts. I do have one. Uh, plug-in. I use the Yankee Candle plug-ins. They last about six to eight weeks. They're kind of strong the first week and then after that they go bottoms up but I can still smell it every now and then. These I got at Walmart. Evergreen spruce. They're like the half, like the, I call them like the mini wax cubes and uh, I like it because you can throw almost a whole um, package in there and then I can be done with it and move on and buy more of course. But um, th this was in the Christmas section and through really strong. So you got to like pine trees to get through this. So I got through both of those. I had a lot of my melts from Yankee. Look at all these North Poles. These were old. And I said, oh my gosh, you know, when you get wax melts, you got to use them up immediately like that year because I think I got these last year at the semi-annual sale and they, they, I don't know the, the vanilla was gone the peppermint was gone kind of took on a perfume scent I don't know if that was age or if that's actually in there and it's supposed to be like a base note um so they're gone and I actually burned another one and then an old Christmas wreath and the same with pine you know kind of if you don't get through pine scents within a certain time frame uh it takes on almost like a uh, like a pet urine smell. I also burned a Christmas wreath that was in the um, little jars that you're supposed to slide right out in the spice pumpkin. Um, and then this apple spice I've had for quite a while, and it was like just, it smelled like wax. So when it was done, I, I you know, it just smelled like wax. So I didn't smell any apple or spice. Um, so then I also got through a cannoli cream puff and a magical frosted forest. This one smelled good, the, fa the frosted forest, but the cream puff, uh, I blended it with um, something else because uh, by itself, 
eh, I can take it or leave it. So those were my melts. I actually have more. Um, got through. These were fresh. I got them, I think, when they had the dollar uh, tart and uh, Voto sale. So a couple more North Poles. And then this is my uh, Wax Delicious. Um, I got through quite a bit of those as well, peppermint stick. I combined it with the North Pole, just like kind of broke them. They came in indiv individual bags, and I just break like a piece off and throw it in there to kind of help with the peppermint to throw it. So, and these, this too, this was peppermint stick, so it actually had vanilla in it. So I got through that. There was three in there. Uh, Christmas cabin, got through that one. Uh, Christmas was sell. It's supposed to be like a drink. Um, kind of supposed to be fruity, but had more of like a perfume note to it. I got through that one. And frosted gingerbread. Um, wax Delicious is a vendor uh, wax company. Okay, so that is my candle empties. Wow, I really did a lot this month. You know, I had some time off and uh, with the holidays and just kind of said, I'm going to get through this stuff. I'm not going to play around with it. So that's that. And next up, uh, my Bath and Body Works soap empties. This was um, this year's, let me push back. This year's gingerbread. Oh, snap. I actually had one from last year that I used ice gingerbread if you like did them separate and you didn't know they, they had one last year you'd be like okay this is good but the O's not but when I compared like I did the O's not first and I did the gingerbread I actually like the gingerbread the iced one better because it had more of a, a creamy scent to it where the O's not I think had more of a spicy scent um, classic gingerbread with some vanilla so I still have one of these left, and I still have one of these left, so I'll get through them. My soap collection, oh, it's just crazy. I also got through Elf and, ooh, sorry, Elf and Around and Stasher. I really liked the Stasher. I have another one, and I don't have any more of the Elf and Around, which I would get it again, though, because it, you know, it wasn't bad. Let me push these back. I got one more. And then my, I just finished this up actually yesterday. This is the Candy Cane Bliss. It's actually, if you are familiar with Twisted Peppermint, which is a very strong peppermint smell, and I did get that last year, and I kind of suffered getting through it because, oh, it was so strong. This has more of a vanilla mixed in with it, and I really liked it. Um, I'm glad I have like four of them, so I'm kind of glad I do like it and it's not very strong uh, there's some peppermint but you can definitely get the vanilla so that is it for December I'm still working through some pine and peppermint but I'm going to get through those because I don't want to have them next year you know go bad on me like they did this year but I am so glad I got through those wax melts but I hope everybody's having a great New Year's um, it's the weekend it's Saturday I actually started out my New Year's with <laughs> down on the floor on my knees, uh, cleaning up cat vomit. Tip, if you have cats or dogs, I guess, and they decide to hurl on the carpet, if you just let it dry, and then you can take a paper towel and go right over it. So that's how I spent my New Year's. Just in the night, I still have to take down my Christmas stuff, but I'll take down my lights today outside, and then I'll wait to take down my my other stuff because my cat loves the tree and really it's still the 12 days of Christmas so the three wise men are still making their journey all right take care